What's going on guys? Um, as you can see, I'm not really dressed for the rain because the weather app said 0% chance. And then as soon as I left my house, it started raining all the way down here. So got some blue skies in the distance, but uh, I'm up here waiting above the ramp right now because let me see if you guys can see. Oh, they're coming up. That truck down there. You kind of see them, they're starting to come up here, but uh, we're doing a little 1v2. My buddy just got done building out his John boat. So figured I'd bring mine out here and we're gonna see who can catch uh, a bigger bag of fish, so. Here he comes. What up? I did it. Heck yeah. He's never backed in a, a boat before and this ramp's like 100 yards long right now. So uh, he actually was done. He did a lot better than I did the first time I came here this time of year. So got the pup with us today. And uh, yeah, now it's my turn. I'm gonna back my boat down and uh, I'll see you guys in the water. All right, there they go, they're off. We got, let's see what time is it? It's about 4 p.m., so we got about an hour of fishing. We're gonna do a one hour little mini derby. I'm gonna stay a little later than them and uh, see if I can pick off some fish, but there they go. I told them a couple spots that are decent because they've only fished this like full. But uh, it's me and the pup, where is he at? Me and the pup against Waylon and Wyatt over there. They're a couple of my buddies, so. This is their first time fishing out of their boat. They don't have any fancy electronics or anything, so uh, hopefully, we can both get on some fish today. Fall fishing has been very hit or miss recently, but this lake's been pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. All right, no fancy cinematics today because I did, gosh, I brought the drone down here, but uh, it's been raining and it's finally nice now, of course, that I put the drone away. Hopefully no one steals it. It's in my truck up there, but uh, yeah, I put the drone away and then it stops raining, so. Uh, no fancy cinematics. I don't have a ton of time to film anything else anyway. So it's going to be mostly just purely fishing today, which is not a bad thing. Um, part of me wants to throw a moving bait up this because I know that there's fish on it. I've seen fish here consistently. This is some of the only consistent structure in the whole lake is these tree trunks and stuff along this bank. So, uh, yeah, I might try and get... One or two. Oh, I didn't tell them any minimum or how many fish we're keeping, but hopefully they know it's five. There's one out in front. I hate that I'm already sitting here just freaking scoping. But. Oh, I got one on me. Let's see if he'll eat it. Yep, he's got me. Oh, dang it. That was a live scope fish, too. Did he get my worm? Yep, he did. Dang it. There we go. Oh, he had me. Saw on scope and then it like disappeared. I left my bait in that general direction. There he is. Is that a good one? Ooh, he's fighting good. I don't know how big he is though. Oh, it's a uh, decent largey. That'll keep. There we go. Ruger, what do you think? You haven't seen fish in a minute, buddy. Ruger's always pumped for the fish catches. Nice little, like, one pounder right there. That'll go 12, I think. Get, buddy. I gotta put him in the box. Look, go to your place. All right, 12. Oh yeah, that's like 13. Okay, girl, there he goes. Fish numero uno. That was a good cast, like five feet behind that fish. There he is, he's got it. Heck yeah. I do love a good live scope bite. Oh wow, this one's dogging me. Okay, buddy, he might be a little bigger. He's fighting like he is. Fish on, Ruger. Oh yeah, it's a better one. Still think he's flippable. Probably shouldn't flip this one in a derby on my finesse rod, but we'll do it anyway. Boom, it's a nice two and a half right there. Look at that. Nice fat live scope fish. My last video out here, I made like a tips video. <laughs> 
where I just didn't really use live scope much, but hey, I'm gonna, I'll take that all day. Another keeper fish right there. That one's probably not a two and a half, it's about a two, but a fish is a fish. Can I give a kiss? Kiss? I feel like I'm gonna say that. Didn't want it this time. Sweet. Here's two. Right there below us. Those ones aren't huge, but they're fish. There he is. Got him. I don't know if... Oh, yeah, I want to go 12. He'll be close, but I think he'll go 12. Oh, and he spit my worm. Thank you, bud. All day. That's 12. Eh, maybe not. Let's double check. Okay. Uh, he's close. Yeah, he's, he's like 12 and a half. He's getting hyped up by this fish freaking out. Let's grab him. Box him. And these fish are literally only going to be in there for like an hour because that's how long we're doing the derby for. We're going to get, buddy. Just fell on a couple more. There he is. Smaller, I think. No, about the same size. Oh, he came off though. That's my own fault. There's a school of them down there. There's a lot of real big fish right there. Wow, straight behind me. I'm not even gonna look at the scope, I'm just gonna fish because I know I'm gonna go right over him. There we go. There's fish. See the school of them down there, but I wasn't even watching the graph. There we go. What are you? Smally or largey? Probably a largey. Yep. Boom. One more and we got a full bag going here. This is nice. Another like 12 and a half inch or probably we're gonna get, buddy. Add them to the sack. I always tell people not to buy live scope because obviously you don't need it. But I will say, every single fish I've hooked today, all five of them and all four that have landed, I have spotted on live scope. I mean, I would have probably caught a couple of those fish blind casting, but I've been blind casting and I've only been hooking up when I've been casting to a specific area that I see fish on on the scope. So. I don't know. Definitely makes life easier. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't have caught any of those had I not had live scope, but uh, this time of year, when they, when the fish are starting to get more unpredictable in the fall, you don't know if they're gonna be up high or deep because we're getting into kind of later fall now. And especially in the winter, it really does help to be able to locate fish like this. Call it cheating all you want, it's freaking fun. And it beats catching nothing. There's a ledge down there with a fish on it. Watch this. I'll drop right in front of one and see if he eats. I have kind of like five feet in front of him, so. If he wants it, he'll come get it. If not, then he won't. Yep, he's got it. <laughs> this fish number five, if he's over 12. It feels like he is. It feels pretty decent. Oh yeah, he's over 12 all day. That's my probably second biggest one of the day. Oh, come here. There we go, we got a bag. Probably got like seven pounds right now, six pounds. Not the biggest bag in the world, but it'll do. Looks like there's fish all over down there. Not sure. There we go.
That guy won't help though. He's not very big. But fish number six. Right. There we go. There we go. That one feels better. It's fighting better. Uh, he's not that much bigger. He might help. He might help. Let's see what we got in the box. You're bigger. You might be smaller. Um, they're like identical. Whatever. I lost sight of the time. Our tournament's kind of coming to an end here in three minutes, but it looks like they're coming to me, so... I'm not gonna count it if I catch one because they look like they're done fishing, but I'll take a cast or two. Another one. Another little one though, they're all small. Ruger, get, you're steering the boat. Stepped on my pedal. How'd you do? Big fat goose egg. You didn't catch anything? No. Cast over here before you leave. I just caught three right where I'm at. Okay. I will not lie though. I only hooked one fish not on live scope. I live scoped all eight of my other ones. Eight. Yeah. My my biggest is only like two though, but in no small mouth. All large mouth. So weird. It's like two maybe, I'll show you. Two ones on live scope though. Like that. Uh uh. They're all fat though. Every fish I've caught's been really fat, but there's just nothing sizable. Hang on. What are you guys throwing? Go. Cast right, like right there. A little further, like that way, but. And let it sink all the way to the bottom. They're all on the bottom. Like it was decent last time. I didn't know how good it would be, but I've just been catching one here, one there on the scope. So, so hasn't been great. Really? Uh, everything I've caught's been in like 12 to 20 feet, I want to say. Yeah, we weren't even getting close to that by the back. Weird. Oh. These are bass right here and on me. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Cast right here. There's like four more. Like right where I just caught that one. Oh, heck yeah. Not a bad one. Look how light that thing is. It's so weird. No, it's got Oh, hell yeah. There we go. There's like 10 of them down there. There we go, another little guy. I think that's number like nine or 10. Well, loading up this boat is going to freaking suck. I'm probably just going to take my shoes and socks off. Either I have a fish running with me or I'm still sinking. Oh, I have a fish. I was going to say, that thing is, it's not that deep right there. Right where I cast it, there's a hump with a bunch of fish on it. Oh, jump. They're all like this size though, but... That is true. There will eventually be a big one. We're gonna know you're not going with them. Hello. Oh, little guy. Oh no, my line's wrapped, and that is not a big one. Bigger. Hey. Doubled up. This might be a smallmouth. This one's fighting weird. Oh, smallmouth. 
finally. This is my first smallmouth out since me and you guys came. All right, me and the pup, getting a little tired. We're just catching a bunch of one pounders and uh, my buddy's over there, you can see him. They're heading out too, so I'm gonna release these fish real quick. There he goes, fish number one. Ended up, uh, they caught a couple of tea in there, but they had a pretty tough day over there. They don't really fish this lake a whole lot, so like I said, it's kind of one-sided. And I actually live scoped like all my fish and uh, he just finished his boat so he has, doesn't even have any graphs set up yet. So I mean, pretty tough day of fall fishing unless you have graphs. So I did take the dub even though I didn't weigh any of my fish. They ended up with nothing so they did catch a couple at the end there though. This is my big one on the day. Might hang on to him for a second because I'm going to fish a little bit by the ramp but not a bad one there. Put the plug in for him though, so that he can have some water on the way home. Well, I'm going up to the ramp. That is not home. He's not coming home with me. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go fish a couple more spots and then probably head on out of here. There we go. That feels like a small moth. Either a good one or a really feisty smallie. No, it's a largey and it's not very big. It's not bad. Oh. Better. There we go. Nice little chunky one. Still though, not very big, but a little better than what I've been catching. About the same size as that small mouth. Here's my big fish on the day, about a two pounder. Not anything huge. Look at him going. Oh, sick. There's a little jump, but my buddies are right in front of me. The camp host, I guess, didn't think there was any boats down here. Even though there's two trailers in the parking lot, so they parked there side by side right there, but they're gonna move it for us. But uh, anyways, yeah, not a horrible day of fishing out here. It was good for numbers, but not very great for size. Uh, had a little one hour, one v two, and then we ended up just fishing next to each other. I was pointing out some fish on lives, go for them. But yeah, look at that beautiful fall sunset right there. Uh, anyways, Ruger's ready to go. He's got to take a pee. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up real quick. Not gonna be a hugely cinematic day, but uh, just a, a little quick fishing mission. So anyways, if you guys enjoy this, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, thank you for watching.